Greetings to you. Hello, it is V from V Love and Crystals and V Love and Tarot. Hope you're doing well. Today's pick a card or no? Today's deck review. I do pick a cards too if you're looking for that. It's over on my V Love and Tarot channel. I'll have that link below. This deck review or side by side video is something that you guys voted for. I thank you so much for taking part in my voting poll. If you want to see what other side by side decks I do, deck battles, check out my community tab. So this one is on, this one had the most votes out of all the other options I put up there. This is the, kitch, the Witch's Wisdom versus the Witch's Kitchen decks by the same creator. And I actually, uh, I've had these for a few years now, so I, I have um, a lot to say on both decks here. I love them both. I love that they're gilded on the sides, so the silver uh, gilding here for both decks here. And I love using them together, odd enough. When you shuffle them together, they're pretty. It's like a thick, thick bundle. But it's so much fun to see all the witchy stuff come out. But for this purpose, I am just putting them side by side so that you can see if you would like one or the other, or if you like them both, or maybe you don't have them at all. And you just are curious to see what they will look like together. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's start. Thank you so much for being here. If you are a new subscriber, I thank you so much for checking me out. If you are not new, um, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. Let's begin. I'm going to bring you in a little bit so you can get a first peek here or closer peek. And thank you so much for being here, by the way. All right. So we have which is Hazel, Athemi. So we have the object up here and a keyword in the bottom. So I like using this with my herb decks, my um, planty decks, and my essential my essentials decks. And this one I just love using with all uh, witchy decks. Um, so it's just very fun, very fun to incorporate. But this one also goes with all witchy decks as well. Um, but I just I just think it's just fun to play with plants, and it doesn't have to be considered a witch deck if you don't want it to, you know? Everybody uses herbs and um, plants and uh, what's it called? Essentials in their practice. It doesn't mean that you're a witch. It doesn't mean that you're not a witch either. Um, so anyway, I just love, I just love seeing all these cute uh, objects here. You know what? This is probably upside down. I love seeing all these objects, these witchy objects in this deck here. Are so fun. And then this one is more lighter, so you get you get more like a I don't know. This reminds me of like you know, if you have the Green Witch Tarot, this will go great with that deck. Um, it has like that uh, that earthy uh, uh, vibe to it, you know. Um, earthy, heart chakra, empress-like vibe. I know I'm like, what the heck, what am I saying? I just mean that. I really do love this deck. Yeah, the Green Witch Tower will go great with this one. If you have the Herb Crafters uh, Tower, I think that would, be, that would go great with this. Oracle of the Essences will go great with this as well. For this deck, I have a few witch decks that I love to uh, complement this deck with. So it's always fun to just mix match. If you would like me to show you what witchy decks I have in my collection, let me know and I'll make a separate video. So in this deck on my left, which is Wisdom, uh, you have Seasons as well. So that's fun. Familiar. And the backings are so cute. You see the backings here? Look at the backings. I don't even know which one's my favorite. I like them both. I'm probably going towards this one. This one's pretty too, but I just love looking at cauldrons. I'm sorry. Put them here. So, very, very beautiful artwork. The keywords are simple to use, not so complicated. Look at that tarot cards. I love this card. I love seeing tarot cards in a t <laughs> in an oracle deck. Very fun. 
I'm gonna put these aside now so I can have s space. Let me know if you have this deck, and if you don't, would you consider getting these? If you do, which one would you prefer out of these two? And do you have both? Let me know all of that in the comment section. So since this is a deck battle, which one wins in your book? Do you have a preference? I will say with the purple here, it's so dark. Um, like the purple uh, and this like black and purple here. Um, I wish they could have made it maybe, hmm, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe not so dark or maybe bring out the image more. You see you have a green circle around here. This one is just very dark, a dark or a dark oval. Um, I don't know if they could have made the image in the center pop a little bit more or make the purple a little brighter. That would have been cool. But I still love, I still love um, these decks. I really do. Coming to the end, I will shuffle, I mean shuffle. I will shuffle, oh boy. So my other, there's probably another card for the purple one in another one of my decks with the same size. Sometimes, like I said, I like to shuffle together. So anyway, let's, let's shuffle these. Let's make a little reading here for you. So lovely, lovely collective friends. Let me know what I can, Read for you. Let's see. Reading for the collective. Reading for the collective. You have ferocity. Whoa. Okay. So, um, I'm getting uh, temper. Watch your temper, some of you. And also, the other side is uh, apply a little pressure to a project that you're trying to bring to life. I'll apply a little. Apply a little fire. Get it going. Get it started. And then you have stability. For it will bring security financial security, financial stability, if you uh, go forward with a project, a career, a plan. So the decks that I'm gonna um, share with you that go great with this deck, this, yeah, we have the purple energy, right? I love it. So this is called the Crystal Says Oracle, and it has yes answers, no answers, maybe answers, and a, a little advice in between. So I thought this would go uh, great with the Witch's Wisdom here, because this, this has wisdom as well. So, um, yep, that's that. And then for my, um, my, the Witch's Wisdom, I have the Witch Becomes Her Oracle, and I have it mixed in with my Sisters of Salem Oracle, which is a Hocus inspired, Hocus Pocus inspired deck. And so I like to use these with my other all my witchy decks actually so these are for sale on my etsy shop if you're interested check it out over on my ebay and etsy links uh down below and i use all these i use these all year round because they're yeah we all love witchy. well i know i do i love witchy decks it doesn't matter what season we're in so um the witch's kitchen i'm sorry the witch's um witch becomes her we have all the different types of uh, witches in this deck we have Hippie Witch, Wiccan Witch, Solitary Witch, Access Monday Witch. We have um, Ceremonial Witch, Sea Witch, Baby Witch, Green Witch, Crystal Witch. We have 53 different archetypes, and each one has a key has three keywords underneath. And then for the Sisters of Salem Oracle Hocus inspired deck, Hocus Pocus, we have three keywords for each of the objects in the movie. The sewer. You have the closet where Danny hides in, Master and his wife. We have the lullaby song, the 90s. We have um, bullies, mom and dad, Howard Brown. So, go sister, we, this complements any of your witchy type of decks. I have the Autumn's um, Delight Oracle as well. If you like fall decks, these will go great with your um, this will go great with your fall type of cards and these kind of cards because they have beautiful colors, Halloween colors. They have, but I use them all year round. I use them for change and blessings, 
and um, abundance coming in with this deck and it goes great with your witchy decks as well so um, let's see I'll show you another one since we have the with the witches wisdom I, I like to mix it in with my coffee deck sometimes or most times actually look at that the wicked witch all this uh, green energy here let's see I'm gonna show you for example um, we have the fire here and in this deck the witchy deck we have all this fire so this would go great with your witches uh, kitchen oracle and the witch's wisdom as well so yeah if you're interested in the autumn's delight oracle or the witch becomes her oracle or the sisters of salem oracles check out my etsy and ebay links below i really would love to uh, share joy to our creations because we love making them and these decks are especially the autumn's delight oracle it's a few years old and it's a heavy hitter especially around the holidays so uh, check if you want your own copy check it out down below so thank you for watching let me know which battle I'm sorry which deck you would prefer between the kitchen which is kitchen and the which is wisdom which one do you, you know strikes your fancy and which do you find yourself working with if you have them already um, let me know what you love about them and what you don't love about them so all the links to all these decks even the one ones on Amazon that are massly mass produced I will have links below for you and I'll catch you in the next video please don't forget to vote with us for the next category Sending you mega love and I'll catch you next time.